welcome all right so we're gonna do a collective read guys we're gonna use the power of love oracle deck let's get a message from spirit Give me a message. What's going on with the collective? What does the collective need to know? Okay. All right, so the first card that we got is humility. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have priorities. So priorities is in reverse. So I'm getting like somebody's priorities could be out of order. This is possibly what is causing some type of setback. This is evolution, okay? So evolution is upright. So there can be some type of evolution, but somebody's priorities could be um, in the wrong place or not in order. Um, and a lot of you guys have a really creative side and maybe you aren't using it okay maybe you aren't using it all right we got humility humility you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths okay i feel like once everything gets settled once everything is in a row you got everything um written down i feel like this is going to help you evolve to the next level this is going to help you unlock your creative energy so you can uh follow your path so a path that you're supposed to be on not someone's path that they want you to go not what someone else wants you to do it's something that you created yourself and that you want to do this is something that you're supposed to be doing this is divine okay but something about your priorities okay something about having to get something in order it's saying spirit is saying get yourself in order because you're getting ready to evolve Okay, you're getting ready to unlock a side of yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had what you're passionate about. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. A lot of y'all about to go to the next level. Okay, it's time to level up. Next level time. All right, let's see if there's any blockages. Like, what blockages could be holding you back? blockages are there for the collective we got forbidden see that look at this focus okay focus is here there's something that you're focused on that maybe is definitely in the way. It's in the way. Oh gosh. Okay. The warrior. This is that King of Wands energy. So for a lot of you, it's a person. Okay. It's a person that could be holding you back. Yeah, feeling like this person belongs to you, like you and this person belong together. Um, Spirit is saying this could be, uh, you could be too focused on this individual, okay? Some of you is a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or this person is very good looking, very charming, popular. Give me one more card. What could be a block for the collective?
We got meditation. We got meditation and strength, okay? Could be a Leo. This could be a male Leo here. Like I said, meditation is here, okay? I'm getting playful energy. Like someone is playing around a lot with their own potential, um, not realizing and not recognizing that this, this energy here could be kind of like in the way of you leveling up. I'm picking up that it could be a Leo specifically for us, for some of you. Um, let me see. I want to know more about this, this masculine energy here. What is this masculine en energy here? This warrior. A lot of y'all didn't know as well that you had this warrior energy, okay? That you had this inner strength about yourself. Um, I feel like if you go into meditation, that's where they're like opening up books, reading, going deeper, uh, doing, uh, doing, uh, journaling, spending time alone, cutting off the TV and just being there with your thoughts. Why is the warrior here? Yes, this is someone that you're dating that spirit is saying that you could be chasing after. Okay, we got date and the chaser. Okay. Then we got runner, runner right here. And camera, I like you. Yeah, an addiction. Okay, this is someone that you could be addicted to. Like, you like this person a lot. You really like this person. I feel like this could be someone that you're dating. Um, that spirit is saying, look, you're chasing after this when really you could be chasing after this. Let's get this, let's get this in order. Let's get priorities in order right now. Okay, all of this is fun, but we kind of need to focus. And I'm saying, walk away from this person. I'm just saying, like, okay, prioritize. Because right now, it could be a time where you need to put focus back on you and what your goals are. Because you have some type of strength here. You got some type of inner strength that I don't think that you're aware of. Okay? For a lot of you, you want to start a business. Um, this person could be in the way of that because they're distracting you from handling your business. Like, just get things in order because you have some type of blessing, some type of, um, some type of, some type of greatness within you. And I just feel like you're, you aren't aware, you aren't fully aware of what you're capable of. A message for the collective. Bunny hop job, and then we got solar power right here. This is giving me this. I, when I pick this card, I just get energy. Okay, like you got energy, like a damn bunny rabbit. Like, you can go, 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 go. This is what I'm saying. This came out right next just right next to strength this is what it's giving me like i don't know that you know that you have this type of energy this type of go go getter energy okay we got superhero right up under that like come on y'all got way more potential and i don't know if you know it or not i don't know if you know what you can unlock once you get focused and zoom in on what on you Okay. I don't know if you know that or not. I don't think this person is forbidden for you to be with because forbidden was in the reverse. So I'm getting like this person is not a bad person for you per se. But it's just at the time, you may have been putting a whole lot of energy into that situation when really you could be putting that same energy into something else, okay? That's going to be something long-term, something that you built for you, okay? So we're going to jump into the tarot.
what does the collective need to know? The two of swords want to jump out. So you may be feeling like you're at a crossroad. Yeah, there's that king of wands. Again, you may feel like you're at a crossroad when you come up, when you're dealing with this person. You're not sure, really too sure about this person. Okay, so let's see. Some of y'all aren't sure how to take action or which direction to take. So let's see. Give me a message for the collective. What does the collective need to know? Yeah, look at this. This Ace of Wands is a new beginning, but this is also very creative energy. This is something that you're passionate about. So this has a lot to do with your passion. See, some of y'all don't aren't even fully aware. Some of y'all already know. Some of y'all that aren't aware, there's something that you're really passionate about. Maybe you're brushing it off as just like a hobby or something like that. But this is what you're called being called to do, okay? This is something that you're being called to do. Six of Cups and the Four of Wands. I feel like a lot of y'all, it's time for y'all to go back to that. Okay. We got the Nine of Pentacles. All right. And the Page of Wands. Nine of Wands and the Four of Cups. The Tower. The Hangman. King of Cups. And the World. Okay. See, I don't want you guys to wait to the last minute or don't think about it or pass it put brush it off i want you guys to understand that understand your potential what you're capable of i have the nine of pentacles here the emperor the emperor see you have so much power so much strength so much control um you got something great inside of you. You have the potential to be like your own boss. Okay, when I see that emperor with that nine of pentacles, this is giving me my own boss. Okay, I feel like some of you may have done this before. Maybe you were disappointed or you quit or you stopped doing it for whatever the reason is. But um, I feel like if you put it on hold, it's time for you to pick back up with that. Okay, it's time for you to pick back up. Some of you have an online website. That's the page of wands here. The ace of swords. And spirit is saying that's the truth. Queen of swords. That is the truth. That's the truth. Now, the Nine of Wands, I feel like some of y'all may have kind of like let your guard down. Um, maybe you were in a partnership or you um, you, and the, you and another individual could have been doing this, doing this um, type of thing together. You had a team or you thought that you were on a team, but somebody could have started acting jealous um, and throwing slick shots, throwing shade. Um, so you might have kind of like pulled back from this energy. You kind of pulled back from this energy. You didn't like that. You did not like that at all. Yes, yeah, see, you don't feel like that's what a friendship is, or you don't want to. You don't want to blend uh, with other people. Maybe this is something that you feel like this time. I want to do this solo, solo, dolo. I don't need nobody having ass energy around me. I don't want no fake ass friends around me. Like this time, I'm gonna do this by myself. Okay, I'm gonna build this by myself. You're going to shock a lot of people. You're going to surprise a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be sharing your uh, your business, sharing your information, whatever it is that you are um, getting influencer type of energy. People want to hear what you're saying, what you're talking about. People want to hear what you're talking about.
people have been waiting for you to kind of like switch it up. They thought that maybe things were just going whole, like you were making some changes. So people are excited. People are excited. Yeah, they feel like it's something new. I feel like you're coming with some new energy this time. Okay, you're coming with some fresh new energy. Yeah, look at this. I feel like you're taking something down, something old. You're taking that down. Um, and it's a reason that you're taking it down. It's because you want some fresh, you want to bring fresh new energy into it. Okay. And I feel like you're going to be happy. You're happy that you were able to take some type of break. I feel like you took some time off, but now you're giving it, you're going back into it and you're giving it some thought. You're going back into it. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. This time, this time it's going to be for the long haul. Okay. This time it's going to be for the long haul. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. I love it, y'all. I want y'all to consider something that you put on hold that could bring you some sort of stability, that could bring you some sort of uh, income, or this is something that you're just passionate about. Go for it. Keep it going. Keep it growing. Don't just let it wither away. Um, it's okay for you guys to take a break from here and there. I know I did. I took a break from my YouTube. I took a break from my business. I took a break because I had to move to a different, locate, relocate to a different city. I needed to be there, you know, for my children. It was a lot, a big, huge gap of me taking a break. Maybe like two months, two to three months I took a break. But when it's time to get the ball back rolling, y'all, it's time to get the ball back rolling. Spirit is saying this now. All of the planets are currently direct. You're no longer in Mercury retrograde that slows things down. You're no longer in Venus retrograde, slows things down and having, having issues in your love life. All the planets are direct. It's time now. Go ahead and start investing. Go ahead and start moving your way up. The time is now. All right. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.